Okay, hello everybody. This is Calthers. Posted a couple videos about, you know, just playing with my friends, but I thought I would record these patch notes and kind of give you my thoughts on them and just go through them one at a time and just see what we got here. This is the first major balance patch of Helldivers. It's kind of exciting. I don't know. It's looking forward to seeing what is in this. I think there's, there's good stuff for us. I'm, I'm hoping some other weapons work. Hoping they didn't touch. I can already read. <laughs> I'm already reading something down here. We'll get to it in a second, but I can already see that they have touched certain things. I wish they didn't touch, but we're gonna talk about it and see. And we will see what the situation is. First thing on this patch note is like right away, this is goddamn awesome. I don't know what this entails, but fire tornadoes to meteor showers and many more. Many more honestly gets me going. A little bit more than fire tornadoes and meteor showers because I can already imagine like what those might be. I'm hoping tsunamis, like I don't know. There's water maps. There's tons of maps with beaches. A little hurricane action, I don't know, twisters off the coast, stuff like that. Just make these planets seem really volatile. It would be a good time, I think. Eradicate missions, this is the defense missions that you're doing, like the kill 200 something bugs. Time to complete the mission was previously shorter than intended, and now should usually take us twice as long to complete. Okay, so they increase the timer and the amount of enemies. That's a good, that's good, honestly. These missions are bogus and they were only used for power farming. And then they were just a free mission in your in your operations to the point where like me and my friends would just take, make sure to do an operation with an eradicate mission in it so that we have like a little break in between the, the two longer missions. So this is probably a good change. Get, get, the, get any mission that's stupid, not stupid, as fast as possible. This, this is the big guy, in my opinion. I think this is ridiculous, uh, but it's whatever. They gotta figure out how to balance these guns, so I'm not that worried about it, but I'm fine with this. A 16 to 13 kind of sucks. I've gotten very used to the 16. Maybe that's just a me thing, in the sense that I'm like almost counting bullets with this gun when I'm shooting the little guys, you know, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, and I kind of roughly know like once I'm up to, well, once I'm up to like 13-ish, then I kind of start ca stop counting at nine, get up to like 13-ish, and then I reload. I usually reload before I get to 16 and I have those three extra bullets for like a fail safe, like an, an extra the bad situation where I need to kill this thing. So 16 to 13 is not ideal, but none of this is ideal. I'm just hoping... Okay, 40 to 60. This is, this is good. I liked this thing before I got the breaker, the Punisher. I had a good amount of time with it, and the only thing I had, the only thing I had an issue with was this. The fact that you only had two full mags, basically. I know they're not mags, but it's loading your shells. Yeah, this is a good change. Uh, I don't see the slugger on here, so I'm wondering if this applies to the slugger. I don't know, I have to see. This isn't a real gun. Like, the, the gun does not work. So I'm be, I'd be curious to see if it does now, if it kills anything. I used this gun one time, and it bounced off of every single enemy I was shooting. We've increased the pellets, fire rate, it's not an issue, uh, and then they decreased the mag size. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> That's weird. It's called the spray and pray and they decrease the mag size. I think they've most likely got faith in the fact that this gun's actually going to do some damage. So I'm maybe going to, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go for it. Decreased armor penetration in safe mode. Decreased damage against durable enemy parts. Huh. So I'm wondering what that does to chargers and hulks. I'm reading this as the decreased damage against durable enemy parts is only in safe mode. So if you were toggling unsafe every time you pull it out you should be fine i don't think i ever i don't know, I've never really used it in safe mode unless i forgot so should be good i'm gonna try this out immediately whatever this is i already think the flamethrower is good i was taking it on some, some nines and stuff i already think the flamethrower is good so this flamethrower is gonna be very good laser cannon like the breaker spray and pray is not a real weapon so i'll have one of my stupid my one of my friends try this i know i have a friend who really likes the laser cannon so we'll see if it actually kills things this time that's weapons balancing planetary hazards we're moving on to stratagems increase the delay before recharging it's fine uh oh i guess we'll skip here i kind of put my eyes downward a little bit and yeah i was about to i was literally about to say if they if they nerf the shield pack armor better be working and it looks like they are fixed armor rating values not reducing damage as intended cool i mean we're hoping that it works i guess it also raises the question did we have no armor or were we all wearing light armor or were we all wearing medium armor like what what armor were we playing with i'd like to i'd definitely like to hear something about that but yeah shield gener generator generator pack good change i would say definitely a good change uh because the armor values are working i just always wanted that one extra couple hits and lack of stagger that's why i took the shield generator so if i can take if medium armor actually gives me a benefit 
I'll switch off of my light. Uh, increase duration of bombardment, decrease spread, increase bombardment duration, decrease spread. Good, good, good. Both these did not hit anything, so I'd be curious to see if they hit stuff now. I always thought a good change with these might have been just, you know, make sure the very first part of the barrage lands directly on the laser. It's really weird throwing 380 and the first... <laughs> The first missile of the barrage is just like off to the right, like the, the furthest right most part of the camp that you threw it right in the center of. It's just not, not the move. Fix certain bug holes that were unnecessarily hard to destroy. I think this is, <laughs> this was a skill issue, but I hope the bigger. Uh, I don't play on PS5. Balanced lighting. Yes. Okay. This is dope because certain planets I was playing on recently were definitely too dark. 100% on night. Just a little bit more light. I don't want to have to change my settings. So Proust improved flashlight efficacy. Cool. Fine with that. This is sad because <laughs> me and my friends love playing on Arata Prime just for the load visibility. I think it's okay that certain planets are sandy and have sand rain and you can't see crap. I think that was cool. If it's a little bit, that's fine. If it's a lot, that's rough. Cool. Improved tutorials. I don't play on low, so this might help you. It's a win for all my low boys. Extract E710. I don't think I've incurred that. Um, these are just bug fixes. So yeah, these are just bug fixes. That's chill with me. Fixed unthrowable snow walls after ragdolling, being able to use grenades after drowning. Okay, cool. Helldivers now take damage from fire cap. Great. <laughs> That's sick. I did know I did notice I was burning in certain situations from the fire from my friend's napalm strike. He's obsessed with using. I definitely was burning but was not taking damage. So <laughs> I guess now I will burn and we will have to actually be careful with our flame thrillers. Armor no longer stretches when dismembered. That's sad. That's sad. I thought this bug was so funny and all my friends did too. I wish we had a little more time with it. I'm okay with it being gone. I just wish we had more time. I will miss you stretchy arms. Some issues. I'm just gonna go through these and see how many of these like I've experienced. Um... That's wild. I have not experienced my character freezing. Oh no, I have actually. I definitely have, but I had it pulling out a stratagem. I pulled out a stratagem and I've just been unable to move and I'm stuck with the little stratagem pokeball in my hand, if you know what I'm talking about. Picking up items from bunkers and caches may render one of them unpickable. I've experienced that, I think, uh, because I just tried running over my sample railgun and shield generator and I can't pick up all three in quick succession. I don't use the friend code. Good bug fix. That would be justice for my PS5 players. Default armor is always shown while viewing the war bond, regardless of the armor player has equipped. Oh, so this is when you're when you're looking at the war bond acquisition page and you like click on the armor and it's showing the, the default set as well as the piece you've clicked on. So it doesn't have the head and chest piece together and vice versa. That would be a good fix. Really weird. I don't know why it's that way. Anyway, haven't experienced that. That's wild. <laughs> That's literally wild. Um some text in the HUD slash UI is missing. Cool. Login rate limiting. Players become disconnected during play. Various UI issues. Cool. I would like them all to be fixed overall. It's whatever for your balance patch. Don't think they really balanced too much. If I had to say, like the major update is just adding weather, which is sick. I can't wait to get maybe picked up by a tornado or hit by a meteor or something. I don't know. Sounds kind of fun. I think this is sucks because <laughs> this just, they made such a good gun. It feels so good to use. It just feels like, it feels a bit what's the word it feels like they're jumping the gun a little bit this is literally the best feeling weapon in the game in my opinion like it gets you out of sticky situations it didn't feel busted it just felt like it was the only good gun that was the issue not that it was busted like if it was a ridiculously overpowered weapon i would be fine with this it's just all of these need to be a little bit more like this at least in my opinion Remember, all of this is my opinion. I don't mind. Criticism. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these patch notes. I'm gonna go try the breaker spray and pray at some point today. Uh, I'm gonna stop using the railgun because I don't really like using it anyways. It's a little boring and I'm gonna fucking flamethrower some stuff. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you clicking if you feel like you want a little more content from me. Like, subscribe. I'll give you some more stuff. Peace, guys.